Hey class, Jolene here. Let's learn how to use layers. As you can see from these rectangles, they're on three, one's on top of each other. So they're in three separate layers. Blue one's on top, green one's in the middle, orange one's on the bottom. What if I want the orange one to be on top? One way to do that is to go up here to Object, Arrange, and click on Bring to Front. Now it's on top, the blue one's in the middle, and the green one's on the bottom. How about if I want the orange one to be in the middle? I can go back to Object, Arrange, Send Backward. Notice it's not Send to Back. If I sent it to the back, it would go all the way to the bottom. But if I send Backward, now it's in the middle. So that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is to click on the object and either right click or control click and then that brings up that menu and you can do the exact same thing. Same thing. So I'll send the blue one to the back. So using the right click or control click it kind of saves you a step from having to go up to object. Another way to arrange your layers is using the layers palette. So you can see I have it right here, I have it handy, but the other way to get to it, I'll close it and show you the other way to get to it. Remember all your palettes are listed here under window. So there's layers. And a handy shortcut is clicking the F7 key. So there's my layers. And you can see here I have something called layer one and then my other objects are underneath that. So you can, you can name your layers, which is a really good idea. I'm going to name this layer rectangles. But I also have my type layer in here. And I have a guide in here, which you can't see right now. If I click on control semicolon, there's my guide. Remember, the shortcut is to toggle it off is control semicolon. So I'm going to create a new layer to put my type on. I'll go down here to create new layer. I'll name this layer, layer type. And now here's that layer with the type. And when I click on this little target, you can see that this just lit up. It now has a bounding box around it. So now I can just drag that layer right up into the type layer. So if I close that up, you see I have two main layers with sublayers below them. Let's create one more layer for the guide. I'll rename that one guide. And I'll click on that target. That doesn't let you when it's a guide. And just drag it up there. Now the neat thing about using layers in this way is you can turn layers on and off with these eyeballs right here. So if I click on this eyeball for the layer that has type on it, it turns that layer off. I can toggle it back on. I can turn all the rectangles off at once. Or if I open this up, I can turn just the orange one off. So you'll find knowing how to do this is going to be really important. It's going to make your life a lot easier. I have my layers open all the time when I'm working. So now remember how before we clicked uh, to uh, move this orange rectangle to a different layer, we right clicked, clicked on arrange, and said sent backwards, or we went up here to object and did the same thing. Well, here's another way to do it. If I want that orange rectangle on top, click on the target till it's lit up, and then drag it. You can drag it to the bottom, drag it to the middle anywhere I want it. So that's a brief tutorial on how to use layers.